Hey, what's going on, YouTube? How are you guys doing? How have you guys been? Yes, it's me. I am back. I'm back. I'm back. I hope you guys missed me. <laughs> I know it's been a while since my last video. My last video um, was on the marriage and marriage and children or not. So if you did not see the last video, um, I'm probably going to link it below just to make it easy for you to just you know click on. But yeah. Just go to that video if you like haven't checked it out. But a lot of people checked it out uh, thus far. I got a lot of opinions on it. I got some new subscribers. So all my new subscribers, thank you and welcome. Welcome to my um, vlog. I thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and giving me a chance. So, yeah, because you could have easily went to somebody else's channel, but you didn't. You came and parked it right here. You stay right here. <laughs> you know, I got some good stuff for you. But I want I wanted to show my appreciation um, yeah, I basically, everybody who made a comment on that video, I did comment back, um, just to show my appreciation, and I don't like to ignore people. You comment, I'm going to comment back, like, I'm always going to try to comment back, I'm going to like your response, or do something just to show you I'm grateful for you coming to my page, and even taking the time to type something, um, below the video, so, because it shows me that, that you actually watched my video, and you came away with something, versus, like, I just watched this video and went somewhere else, not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing if you've done that. <laughs> I just thank you for watching it, but I mean it's good if, if you can get if I can get some feedback from you. And especially when I talk about like different topics, that was a really interesting topic for me. I mean it created a firestorm. I actually got into an argument with one guy. He was a total like dick face, okay? Yes. I he was asked. So it was funny because me and him started arguing on another guy's channel. It wasn't even on my channel. We started we started arguing on another guy's channel. Um some guy named Walter Hampton or some Walter Lee Hampton. So, he has this crazy video um, titled, uh, Black Women Are Destroying the Black Community, or Why Black Women Are Destroying, Destroying the Black Community. And already, me as a black woman is looking at that like, excuse you? So, you know, I had to click on. I'm like, what is the hell are you talking about? So, anyway, he feels like black single mothers are the reason why the community is, you know, messed up, off balance, whatever. So, he's one of those people who were lucky enough to grow up with two parents. Like I told y'all before in the past, I'm a child of, I'm probably with a single, a single parent home. My mother was a single mother, raised me and my little brother. Anyway, this guy, he came from, he, you know, household, he had two of his parents, whoop the damn do. So, he feels like single black women, you know, should not be having children. He feels like, you know, they can't, uh, they can't do the job of two people, which is true. I agree with him there. Like, yeah, we can't we can't really do that, you know, at all. So, yeah, I'm sorry about the phone, y'all. But anyway, I don't know. I mean, I just thought he, the way he said it was kind of, he just didn't have no tact. He didn't have one tact. I mean, he could, he didn't, he needed to find out a better way to say his, say his opinion. Because when he's putting it out there, it's offensive, and we're getting turned off by it. Like, oh, okay, so we're, it's our fault. So I'm like, well, what happened to the guys? You know, hey, it takes two to tango, boo. Okay, last time I checked, it takes two to make a baby. I know one. Toys and fingers don't make babies. But I tell y'all, penis is good. So I'm like, you need another person. <laughs> so what about the other person who was in the room who's the reason why you pregnant in the first place? So he claimed, you know, they need to stop giving these guys who ain't about nothing. Now, that one I do agree with, too. Like, why there are a lot of girls, I hear a lot of black girls who have low self-esteem, and they're going through things themselves, and they don't feel loved, and they don't know what love is, so they reach and latch on to anything that they think sound good to them. And I'm like, that ain't love. Like, you don't need to be with him. He's a dick face. Like, <laughs> he don't care nothing about you. You know, he ain't responsible. This man is not serious about marriage, a relationship, a baby, whatever. You know, like, you don't even have no baby bath, something like that. So I do, some of these girls do make babies with guys that they know ain't, ain't shit. I'm like, you already knew, sweetheart. You knew what was up. Like, why would you throw your legs back for him and not have no rubber? Or not have no rubber control pill? Or both, combination of the two. You need both. It's pharmacized. So if you're going to let them hit it raw, which I don't know why you would. <laughs> but if you must, use some spermicide. Okay, and make sure he ain't got no STD since you wanna you wanna risk it. You know, I hope he clean. But you know, you don't even make a baby. It's a lot of girls do that, and they they do it because of spur of the moment. They in the heaps of passion, and they just go crazy. And I'm like, you know, you you gotta make prudent decisions here. Like you can't be laying down with just any guy. So I'm, like, I'm pregnant. Why? Why by him? You know, like pick somebody better. Like pick somebody who really gonna, you know, take it seriously. You know. But well, anywho, <laughs> so anyway, I got into an argument with this this guy. He commented on the video and 
um, I had come and I said, well, my mama did it, you know. <laughs> so, and he said, well, you the exception to the rule, but rules still needs to be followed. I said, yes, but rules need to be followed by both people, not just women. So he going back and forth for me, single black mothers destroying black women, basically saying whatever Walter Lee Hampton was saying. And this nigga just kept, well, I don't know if he's a black guy or a white guy, but I'm going to tell you his name. His, his name is White Bitch Nigga. Yeah, you heard me. Offensive as hell, right? That's his, that's his name. So you know he's an idiot to begin with. Who would name himself something so offensive and, you know, just really kind of vulgar? Anyway, this fool, I assume he's a black guy. He could be He could be anybody. He had a picture of us. So I don't know. So he an internet thug, one of them internet thugs, because uh, he just kept arguing with me. Man, I argued with this man for like three or four days over the same thing. We basically just, you know, he said black women are the reason why the black community is being destroyed or whatever. Um, you know, and he's talking about how the stats are disturbing, you know, for us. You know, these girls having the babies, not being married, all that kind of stuff. And... Um, I was, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm just staying steadfast in my belief. I'm like, no, I don't think, I don't think it's our fault at all. I said that this is an issue that, that is concerning both, uh, concerning both male and female in the black community. In order to solve the issue, you cannot just point the finger of blame at the black woman. You have to come together, black men and black women together, uh, and make it cohesive and then try to solve the problem. You're not going to solve the problem by placing blame on the black woman because that's just, that's a cop out. You know, to just be honest with you, that is a cop out to say, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to blame all single black mothers, and that's pretty much it. You sound like an ass, you know. I thought Walter sounded like an ass for that one, too. I was like, man, you sound too intelligent of a man to say something that stupid out your mouth, you know. <laughs> and this guy, I mean, he just kept going back and forth with me. Anyway, he ended up calling me a dumb bitch. Yeah, he tried it, okay? It might take my voice. <laughs> he tried it. I mean, he got ratchet, and she got ratchet, too. And she meaning me, by the way. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, he tried it. He, he called me a dumb bitch. Now, what happened was the comment was so negative that it got so many negative votes. Thank y'all whoever voted down the dumb bitch comment. So it got removed. YouTube removed it. However, I saw it because my anytime somebody comments, anytime one of you comments on my video, I get emailed. So I know you comment. That's so how I go on the page and I say, oh, okay, somebody comment. So he called me a dumb bitch. So I went in on his ass. <laughs> so I don't remember everything I said, but I think I called him a fucktard and yeah, I told him to kiss my ass. And you know, I told him, I said, if you don't like what I got to say on my channel, you can go to somebody else's channel. You know, I'm coming to disrespect me on my channel. What kind of idiot calls himself white bitch nigga? And, you know, I went in on his ass, you know, because he really, he really, he's trying to come for me. I was like, oh, so you called me a dumb bitch. <laughs> I was like, you are disrespectful, nigga. You a dumb bitch. Child, I had to go in on him. I think I went on him twice because he said something about his other comment, which was not on my page, but it was on the other guy's page. Walter Lee Hampton, he was like, look, I'm tired of arguing with you, Lisa, blah, 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 blah. And I said, I said, and this nigga put it, I think he put look in all capitals, like I'm supposed to be, ooh, I'm scared. I'm like, ooh, he capitalizing every letter. Ooh, I'm shaking. I said, <laughs> first of all, I said, uh, look, and that's why I told him that the problem has to be fixed between black men and black women, you got to work together. It's not just the black female. I said, we can't do it by ourselves. And I said, and I've been tired of talking to you, so you can feel free to shut the fuck up whenever. And that's exactly what I said. And he shut the fuck up, because I ain't heard from him since. And I bet not hear from him again. I'm going to have my man come and whoop his ass. <laughs> Child, don't try me. You don't know me. So, anyway. Anywho, I have good news, guys. I know I've been talking about jobs and jobs and jobs and jobs for like since forever. But finally, I can officially say that y'all yeah, looking at an employed person. That's right. I'm officially employed. Yay! I know, right? I uh, work for a research company. I'm a telephone interviewer, a professional telephone interviewer. So I interview, um, like, our the company mainly handles, like, social science, social research, social science research. So, my job is to, basically, I call people and see if they'll participate in different studies. So, yeah. But it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool job. You know, it's pretty nice. Uh, you get breaks. They pay you for your breaks. Who ever heard of a job to pay you for your breaks? I've never heard of one. You clock off, but they still pay you. Like, your breaks are paid, so they want you to take a break. Because at some point, as you sit there at the computer for a few hours, you're like, okay, I didn't get up there. <laughs> I know how it is. I, I used to work in a computer lab when I was in college, so I know how it is. Excuse me. As you sit there for a couple hours, you're like, okay, it's time for me to go get some food and chill out. 
But anywho, yes, I am working now. I'm feeling real good, feeling real breezy. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy. I'm working. Life is sweet. I'm about to get paid tomorrow. Get my first check. And yeah, let's just say <laughs> Dots will be happy to see me. <laughs> I'm going to go shop and I want to go to Dots and get some stuff. I already seen a couple cute outfits I want to go and grab and give me some uh, stuff for work. I want to give me some slacks and different stuff. Oh, also, we can dress casually at my job, but they just want you to maintain professionalism, but you can dress casually. So um, it's really cool. It's really dope. Get my hair done. I'm tired of my ponytail. My ponytail is cool, but I'm tired of this ponytail. It's time to do something different. It's boring me now. You know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to get on the aunts and get my hair done. Probably get my nails done, too. Nails and feet since the summertime. I need to get a new pair of sandals. Hmm. <laughs> you see, I got a lot of stuff to get. Y'all look like she sells everything. I'm like, yeah, I know. I got a whole lot of stuff I got to do. I've been unemployed for too long. That's the problem. You know, all this stuff start, it just pile up on you. You're like, I got to do this. I need to get that one. I need to get that done. That got to be done. And, you know. So, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, everything is going pretty well. Oh, also, my boo, he had a birthday. His birthday was July 1st. So, happy birthday to my boo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He had a birthday and everything. He had a fun birthday, too. He actually went out of town. So, that was, like, really fun. He went to um, Detroit. Now, I ain't never been to Detroit before. And you know how people, like, they kind of downplay Detroit. But he said it was really fun, though. No. I was like, oh. oh. I, guess, I think Detroit's one of those cities where you have to just go and see for yourself. Because I think if you listen to other people, you'll never go and visit. Because you're always like, oh, what for? I'm going to go visit no Detroit. Punk ass Detroit would. Okay. His mother, on the other hand, she don't like the city. Yeah, his, his older brother lives there. But his mom doesn't really favor Detroit too much. But he likes it, so. Yeah, so anyway, maybe me and him have to go there together one day. So I want to see him. Like, well, let me see here. You say it's fun. I want to try it out. So. <laughs> and I need a vacation. I really do. Yeah, vacation will be nice. Yep, 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 yep. Also, my cousins are here from Mississippi. I got uh, cousins from out of town. So, um, yeah, we're going to take them out. They're here for the whole week. I think they go back Sunday or Monday, whatever. So anyway, they're here for like the whole week. We're going to go out to Hibachi. Uh, that's the, it's like a buffet. Yeah, grill and buffet. We're going to go out there to Hibachi this week and eat, have a good time, just enjoy each other's company. Everything's going to be breezy. So I'm just having a good week. This is really just an update video, just to let you know. They are like, well, are we going to do a topic today? No, not not today. I got to leave for work, actually. But, um, yeah, I just want to pop in real quick to say hi and apologize for being gone for so long. I've been trying to get myself together with the whole job thing. Also, let me put it out here right now. I'm going to help everybody out with the job thing. If you have, if you're unemployed right now looking at me and you need to be working, <laughs> I got you. Okay, this is how I found my job. I went on Facebook. I went on Facebook and typed in jobs in Chicago in the search box. Become a member of the page. You know, the administrator of the page is going to accept your membership. And that way you have free access to look down the timeline, they have every freaking job. They have job, jobs that are in the, suburb, in the suburbs, too. So if you live in the suburbs, like in Bolabrook, so they got stuff there, too. They, they post everything. They post all the newest jobs every day, all day long, you know, and you can find any kind of job. That's how I found my job, This to be honest. I just thought I'd give that tip to somebody else because I, I really want to see you guys do well, you know, um, and I know how hard it is to not have a job when you need one. So that's how I found my job. I went straight to uh, Facebook. It's funny. Facebook got me a job. Who ever thought a social network would give me a job? I mean, well that, but that's what social networking is for. A lot of people use Facebook for stupid stuff like the beef and, you know, try to find out, uh, try to get in people's business and beat somebody's ass and all that sort of stupid shit. But you just focus on what you need to focus on. You just focus on what's going to make you a better person, like getting a job. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Like, out of all the sites, all the job sites I've been on and unemployment agencies. No, not unemployment. Um temporary agency I work with, like, come on, like, Facebook got me a job at all that, I'm talking about, I didn't try to try it out, job on career building, went to the interviews, didn't work, blah, 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 and all of a sudden, Facebook gave me a job, like, that's, that's crazy, but, hey, <laughs> oh, 
Well, you can say Facebook slash word of mouth because that's what it is, you know, because people on there are posting the job and you can actually, you know, write back to them and say, oh, what does this position do and what's the link? And they'll give you the link. I clicked on the link. I applied a couple weeks. I think, like, I only, been on that, I only was on that job page for like two weeks and got a job like that so people who go on that page and look i guarantee if you look every day and ask about different stuff apply to different stuff you'll get a job so many everybody goes on that page gets a job i guarantee i don't know if that's if that's if the lord himself created that page that's that's the page of blessings i call it because you go on that you're going to get a blessing you're going to get a job it's just guaranteed hey i got one you know, and I've been bitching about a job for so long, and I finally got one. Like, I, I was only on the page for, like, two weeks, you know? And I got that job quick. As soon as I applied to the place, I think it took, like, almost a week, and they responded and asked me to come in for an interview, and I got the job. And, they, and they, the job, the place I work at, they tell you right then and there on the day of your interview whether you got it or not. And that's a good thing. A lot of companies make you wait. And I'm like, anybody got time for that? Okay? <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. So, Yeah. <laughs> all right well i will make another video soon and you know be back and to talk to y'all and i'll probably have like a nice little topic of i gotta figure out something i want to uh talk about i had some ideas i'm gonna write them down and get it together for y'all anyway um i hope you all enjoy the rest of your day i'm gonna try to have a good day as well um i want you to all be well and be blessed and uh thanks for tuning in bye